Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can do a really co cool cinematic because I've seen a lot of montages that just do really lame cinematics with just no editing continuity or anything at all on it and it just looks terrible and it just makes your video quality look worse. But anyways, I have a solution for that because today I'm going to be teaching you how you can make really cool cinematics that are really easy on DaVinci Resolve. This is what the final product should look like. So yeah, if that's in like middle of clips, that looks pretty for professional and pretty good. And yeah, so the first thing you want to do is you obviously want to have your m music clip. Um, uh, and then I just deleted that main clip because I want to show you how you can do it yourself. So first music clip. What you want to do with this is you want to have one beat drop to start it off and another beat drop to end it. I have a little bit of slack on the audio to like have more effect. But your your montage is obviously going to be a full song. And I'm just using this single audio clip because I don't want to have a full song in here. So the first thing you want to do is find your cinematic. I already had mine. So the cinematic I'm going to be using is just going to be a regular cinematic. Doesn't have to be anything special. It can be a character or a um, or a scene. So what you first want to do is you want to right click on this thing. You want to go to retime curve. This is really important. You can't skip this step. This is the most important thing. You want to right click on the clip, click retime curve, and then it's going to look like this, which is i don't even know what this means but i don't use this so what you want to do is click on this thing no don't click that click on this thing the down arrow and this might not show up if your clip is showing up like too small so you have to expand it a little bit um and then you want to go into this you want to you want to go into it you're going to click retime speed and disable retime frame. So, what you want. So, after this, you can basically start doing whatever you need to do. Um, the first thing you need to do is go around a quarter into the audio clip. Like around here, a quarter in, I'd say here maybe. You want to click on this clip. You want to click the keyframe over here. This is a red dot thing. There's something going to, something's going to appear here. And that's what you want. This is basically like a stopper to separate these two points of the clip. And you can have a different speed from this one and this one. So what you want to do is probably change this thing to around 100 and 210%, 220, 25. Let's leave it there. Around. And then this thing will shrink. So remember when we had the point on the quarter? It's going to shrink. So we're going to want to pull that back a little bit around here this looks pretty good and then do the same thing. Um, you gotta remember our beat drops here and we can't go just a quarter way through our clip so we have to go around here I guess now cl click the same thing a keyframe and what you want to do is you want to don't mind the rest of the clip we can delete that later later you want to also drag this all the way till 200 and 25% I guess that looks pretty good um, and yeah that's basically it for the um, first part so what else do you need to do um, this this one that doesn't change the this one doesn't change the where the keyframe is because there's so much slack behind it and so much extra footage that it could add in so it won't change where the keyframe is placed so it's fine for this one I don't feel like we need that much around here would be good now we cut off the rest of the clip i'm just cut it off like in the middle of the keyframe right in the middle and yeah that's pretty much it oh geez wrong thing press ctrl z for that uh go back to the retime curve go back to retime speed and yeah that's pretty much it it for this part but the other thing that i'll add that looks really good you don't really have to do this i guess but it really makes your clip look a lot better if so you want to click on one of the white dots or the keyframes click on it and then over here up top here 
this one's currently selected and it's just a straight line you want to select the curved one and then it's going to make it look like this this is going to add a little bit of like uh contrast to when it starts and ends and then click on this here and do the same thing you want to drag it out a little to make it look a little better so yeah a curve like this would look good you don't want it to be like like you don't want it to be like this only like this but you also don't want it to be completely flat because that would ruin the entire effect so around here would look good um yeah that's basically it for the retiming part um now we can um I, actually the last thing i have to say before this changing the this option changing to the curved option might cut off a little bit of your footage so what we want to do for that is you want to you can change the or in the middle you, you want to drag down on it to make it longer because this is basically where the most of the clip is and you want to if you drag down on it you make the overall clip speeder by not a noticeable amount but it really extends the clip a lot and it makes it look a lot better so yeah now we click over here to exit out of the exit out of this mode and yeah now now at this point it should look like this and this is basically good enough but i'd recommend doing something else i'll show you like guys later that looks pretty good just like a fast it goes fast and then slow and then it goes fast again that looks pretty good and it looks pretty professional but another thing you can add is you want to go into the fusion tab now this is more intimidating and might scare you away but trust me it's not that hard so the only thing you want to do is you want to press either control space if you're on windows and shift space if you're on mac i'm on mac so shift space and what you want to search up is blur so there's a bunch of different options but you just want to cho choose the one that says blur uh, you could choose the other options if you're a little bit better at this thing, but I don't really know what the different blurs are. So the and the diff first one it looks pretty good whenever I use it. So let me just search that up again. Blur. Yeah, this is basically the blur. And then over here, inspect and in the inspector you want to open that, or it might just have it open by itself. And then you'll see all the all these things over here. Um, they're pretty intimidating but just for a beginner i'd only recommend choose changing one thing you want to do in here is you want to go around a sixth or a court around 30 frames i guess for this one a sixth through the a sixth through the clip and then you want to press keyframe over here and then go all the way to the sixth to the one the clip is going to end which is around here i guess and you want to click another keyframe so now it won't change anything at all but after we apply the blur it's going to make it look a lot better so the first thing you want to do is go on to the first frame and you want to change the blur size to around like 15 15 is the perfect number here but you could go more or less don't go over like anything else don't go anything crazy but 15 looks pretty good now the same thing with the end of the clip you want to change it to 15 and that's pretty much it now i'm gonna wait for it to render so this is what this is what the final product should look like it looks pretty good of course you've already seen it and in the beginning of the video but yeah that's basically it i hope you guys really could learn from this and i feel like this is more something widespread and something that more people will want to learn from and i hope this video does well hope you guys learned something or enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace